What is up, YouTube? I thought I would take you guys on a little tour of some of my cards today. Um, sorry, I don't have a stand to hold my camera, so it might be a little. It might move around just a hair. Um, I will have a better setup uh, later on, probably my next video or so, but. I just kind of wanted to go through some of my Louisville Cardinals basketball cards. And uh, I have a lot. Um, I'm a big collector of the Knicks, the Cardinal, Louisville Cardinals, Western Kentucky, and Pittsburgh. So, Steelers. So, I have a big collection of all of those, and I'm going to kind of do an individual video on all of them. So, my first card here is a Terry Rozier prism, and I also have a lot of collectibles as well. So, we'll kind of, I'll do different videos throughout. Um, this is a Terry Rozier prism, and this is numbered to 199. This was when he was obviously still with the Celtics. I believe this might be a mm, second year, second or third year, and uh, I really liked this card. So, and actually, a friend gave it to me. So, I, uh, I'm a big Rozier guy, as you're about to see. The next card is a Terry Rozier Prism out of Prism Draft Picks. It's his uh, rookie card auto, and he has a beautiful auto. I mean, that thing, it just, it pops. And, of course, the fact that it's on card as well. It isn't numbered, but it's still uh, one of my favorite cards, I think, in my whole set. Um, next for, I don't have them set up very well. So, I'm just going to go in kind of order of what I can reach. I got a uh, Ellis Miles. This is from Press Pass. And uh, what year is that? Looks like 2005. Uh, press pass, really, really cool card. Not worth much. You know, Ellis obviously didn't have an, any kind of NBA career or anything, but he was a really hard worker and a very good, uh, a, a really pivotal piece to Louisville's team the years he was on there. And when he tore his ACL, it was a killer for that team. Very good team that year. Uh, next, we got a Terrence Williams uh, draft night. And it's a patch auto, and it is numbered out of uh, 124. A really cool card. He was drafted by the Nets, obviously, and uh, I, I like that he's still in his Louisville jersey. Uh, I know most people want the pro unis, but you know they're playing for Louisville, and that's where I that's what I want them in the uh, uniforms in here. The next card, we got a Michael Bush out of Press Pass. Sorry, my hands are dirty. Yeah, they're, they're actually stained, but just work. But Michael Bush out of Press Pass. It's a uh, rookie auto, and it is an unnumbered card, but still, I mean, it's just a really good, really good auto. Um, I also have a mini helmet signed by him and um, Lamar Jackson. I'll show that in another video. Here's a cool card. Donovan Mitchell out of Panini Flawless, number to 15, Diamond. And uh, I paid m way over the value for this card. Way over it. Unfortunately, on, on my end, I really at the time didn't really know how to gauge the flawless and it had no sold listings. Next, we got a Donovan Mitchell rated rookie optic. I would love for it to have been to be graded. I, I think this one would grade pretty well. It's a little bit off center, but aside from that, it's a it's a good looking card. And uh, I, I'm, I'm actually may send this off next Got uh, just a score um, patch auto out of uh, you know of Lamar, and it's an unnumbered as well. So really, no no big value. That was a ticket from the um, his final year at Louisville. They played Clemson. I also have his uh, the ticket stub from his last home game at Louisville as well. 
Next on here is a another Panini uh, Panini Contenders um, rookie auto college ticket. I, I think those cards are really cool. You know, really cool. And then I have a ticket stub from that year that I went and watched them play against Purdue. Next up, we got a Russ Smith RPA. I'm looking for the select uh, RPA that he signed, uh, Russ Ridiculous. Russ Ridiculous. And, uh, because there aren't very many of them. This one was numbered to 199. And obviously he ended up going and playing in China. But next, we have a Michael Bush winning materials out of SPX. And that is uh, an error, I believe. I think they messed up on the patch because they didn't fill both, both sections. And I have a Harry Douglas of this card numbered out of 100, and, and both patches are obviously filled. So here is a uh, Teddy Bridgewater auto out of Panini. Now, this is not his rookie card. It's just a card that was printed. A, I think this is actually, he would have already been in the league maybe two years. Numbered to 99. One of my... One of my favorite cards. I, I like the image on there. And while we're doing autos and cards that I really like, I got a black gold number to 25, Chinanu on Owaku, and I really like that card as well. Um, just a really nice card. Um, they've done a really good job with the, the background, and it's kind of like, you know, it's it's... 3D to an extent where he, where he's at on the card. <clears throat> Next up is a Reese Gaines certified autograph issue. This is out of Topps Pristine. And they, uh, it's not numbered, but really, really cool card. Here I have a Prism Draft Picks Lorenzo Malden rookie card. And uh, that is just sharp. You, you know, the camera here, I've got, it's in a bag. So, you know, the camera's kind of picking up a little more glare than it would anyways. And, I mean, that's just a sharp card. Unnumbered. But really cool, nonetheless. I'd like to have a few more of those. Got a Jordan Nawara rookie ink, unnumbered. Um, people always ask, is it numbered? Is it numbered? You know. But uh, checkerboard background, just a really cool card. Got a Greg Miner classic. I've got a few classics. And this is uh, obviously numbered out of 2,500. And Greg Miner was a really, really good basketball player. He was a lottery pick. He was really good for Louisville, and he played with Clifford Rozier, and they had a they had a good team. Here is my Chris Redman. I got the, I had played at a basketball camp at uh, Louisville at their practice facility a couple years ago, and Chris Redman played in that same camp. Now my team ended up winning the tournament. It was a three-day camp, and I actually have the net from there and the trophy and a couple of uniforms. But because he was playing there, I got one of my cards from home and asked him to sign it that second day, and he did, and there we go. Here is my Upper Deck Earl Clark uh, Golden or uh, Collections. Signature collections, upper deck, it's unnumbered, uh, rookie card. <coughs> Earl Clark's teams back in 08, 09, really, really good. Him and Terrence Williams had some really good teams together. Here's a Terry Rozier Genesis out of Mosaic. I have two of these, one of this year and one of the following year, and you're going to see why I have one of the following year. I also have a Terry Rozier uh, out of that same set. 
uh, disco. It's a uh, fast break gold, and it is numbered six out of ten. Another kind of sticking with the the graded cards. Here's a B BGS nine five of Signs of Success Reese Gaines auto. Got a Donovan Mitchell PSA nine NBA hoops rookie card. And I just, I got this case and I went ahead and done it because this is my favorite player ever, Dewan Wheat. Got his 1997 rookie auto. Here's a Montrez Herald Genesis out of Mosaic. He's not one of my favorite players. I really, really liked him when he was in the NBA or when he was at Louisville, but now he's just kind of a punk. And I hate that, but it just seems like you hear a lot of things about him and very rarely are they good. Here's a Upper Deck Home Court Signatures Daryl Griffith Auto on the court. Really cool card. Uh, here was one of Dewan Wheat's teammates. Got an Alvin Sims Hardwood Signatures. This was numbered out of uh, 7,500. And there's also a Dewan Wheat version of that. There's two of them. And those are probably going to be one of my next pickups. Got a top, or a Bowman, oh yeah, Bowman's best, Eric Shelton, rookie patch, uh, number to seven ninety nine. Eric Shelton, really good player for Louisville back in the late 90s, early 2000s, and uh, a little bit before my time, he was actually, yeah, he was drafted in 2005, so a little bit before, you know, at that point, I was just really getting into cards and sports and things like that, but... Here's a rated rookie 2 2 Atwell auto. We've got a Walt Frazier Samaki Walker Edge Hard Court Time Warp, and that is numbered out of a thousand. And me being a Knicks fan and a Louisville fan, that worked out really, really well. I also have a Gorgie Jing. Patch Auto. This is a game used patch out of National Treasures, numbered to 99. And it says right there enclosed game worn material. Got a Devontae Parker Upper Deck Inscriptions. That is a really nice card. It's, unfortunately, it was not a rookie. And, uh, just a but a but a cool card nonetheless. Devonte obviously had a really good career with uh, Teddy Bridgewater. This might be my favorite card in the set of all of them that I have at the moment for Louisville. I've got a exquisite collection Peyton Siva on card RPA, and uh, it, it that that is just a nice card and Siva. You're going to see again here in a moment. I've got a Damian Lee college ticket rookie auto. Playing really well in the NBA. He's had his moments. Here's a Kobe Smith. This is out, also out of uh, Bowman. This is Bowman Chrome. Kobe Smith uh, rookie auto. <clears throat> got a Upper Deck Purvis Ellison auto. That was a March Madness collection throwback, and and uh, that was just a really cool card. Uh, I had to have it. I think I got it for like time. I don't know, five bucks. Here's a Terry Rozier RPA out of Limited, number to forty nine. Got a Peyton Siva Crown Royale rookie auto, number to seventy five. Peyton Siva, has, and this was out of the uh, the replay from 15-16. And Siva, of course, one of my favorite players ever. Got a Brian Brom, uh, Harry Douglas, number to 500 on the uh, Rookie Reflections. Uh, 
Montrez Harrell on the national championship team, numbered out of 25, RPA, or no, I'm wrong. This was not an RPA. This was just a patch auto on card, and uh, that is, that's a sick card. Next, we have a Brian Brom out of hit, rookie auto, numbered to 250. This is a really cool card out of Gala. Number 260, it's a Gorgie Jing on card auto. And I got this out of, uh, with Panini points, actually. Next up on deck, we've got a Francisco Garcia three patch auto on card, number to 50. Francisco Garcia, obviously on the team, on uh, one of Louisville's final four teams in the early 2000s. And uh, he was a, he was a pivotal piece of that. And I need to get a different case for this. This is a National Treasures uh, Chinanu on Oahu, um patch auto number two, I believe, um, 75 dual patch auto. Yep, yeah, number 10 out of 75. Cool card, but I need to. I need a case for it badly because I don't have, I have this, but I want an actual one touch that can hold on to it. So the last thing I was going to show, we'll start with this. It's a fast break gold of Terry Rozier. This was uh, last year's mosaic. Number three out of 10, so it is a number match. Then we've got, oh yeah, it's about to, you're about to see a lot of that card. Here is a Genesis short print. Then we have the uh, red yellow explosion, I think is what it's called. It's numbered to 88. We have the disco, numbered to 85. We've got the orange, number 225, first on print. Red Wave, which I believe, I can't remember. This was an exclusive. I, I can't remember which one. Here's an exclusive out of Hobby, also number 225, 20 out of 25. Here's the red... Explosion, and I don't believe you could get that out of retail from Walmart. I can't remember what retail that had to be because here's the orange of the same card, and I know I got it out of out of a Walmart blaster, I believe. And all same same as the pink camo, the silver, the green. And the gold wave is out of Tmall. Uh, so I would assume probably the red wave is as well. And I have a couple more of those coming, but I don't have them now. If you stuck around and watched the whole video, I appreciate it. My next video will probably be up in a couple of days. I'm going to do my Knicks collection, then I'm going to do a Steelers collection, and then we'll go over all of my memorabilia. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.